Oh hi there, it's Shannon from Perfectly Polished with Gel Moment. Wanted to hop on here and post something tonight. With it being Tuesday, I thought it would be fun to do weekly or bi-weekly a Try It Tuesday or a tip or a trick that um, you guys can use. So today what I'm going to do is, I know a lot of you guys are really eager to get the stamping kit and we're sort of hearing that it's coming kind of really, really soon and they're restocking. There's a bit of a shipping issue, so that's just the way our world works right now. Um, but I did, uh, there is a way that you can do a cheetah pattern not using the stamping kit. So this is a comparison. You can see it. Uh, this one is using the stamping kit. I mean, it was just super simple and easy to do and I just added a little bit of in the mood on top and then this is one I created using a dotting tool okay so on a nail you know that would look actually really good okay so what I've done um, in the for timing here is I did a nail tip with lovey dovey lovey dovey and meet me at the chapel um, meet Me at the Chapel I have as a little bottle that came in my distributor kit. So Meet Me at the Chapel and Lovey Dovey are the whites, the two whites that we have in Gel Moment. And super versatile. I use white a ton. I never, I didn't think I was going to, but I, I use it all the time. Um, I, on my nails currently I have Witchcraft and I did an ombre with Lovey Dovey, sorry, Meet Me at the Chapel and um, the Witchcraft. So that was kind of a fun thing to work on last night. Okay, so uh, this is a two coats of lovey-dovey. It's been cured, so if this was your nail, you would have done all your usual things. Um, you know, just making sure you wipe your, your skin. You can either use a little brush with a little bit of alcohol or use your uh, cleansing wipe, even wrapped around your cuticle pusher to make sure that all the extra polish is removed from your, your cuticle as well as your side walls, the side skin here. Okay, so. Um, I'm going to mix a couple colors, and this is why I love this silicone mat. So I'm going to be using In The Mood. So I'm going to put a little bit down on my mat. So, whoa, whoa. A little bit down on my mat. That came out a little bit crazy. So I'm make sure I have enough for my dotting tool. Okay, and then, and this is such easy cleanup. And my Raven's Kiss, which is my black, is actually, I've lent it out in my Try Me kit. So that's not, but I'm gonna try to come up with um, something that is as close to black as I can. It really doesn't matter, because you can do these kind of color combinations with a lot of different um, polishes. Uh, like I did this one earlier as well. And this was a blended color of Smoky Sky mixed with Lovey Dovey and then Smoky Sky. So same idea on a cheetah. You, you doesn't have to be kind of a traditional pattern. And then I'm going to add in a little bit of Nightly Affair into this just beside it. And I'm going to mix these up just to create kind of a, a dark tone, as dark a tone as I can. And I'm going to take just a dotting tool and just kind of combine these up. And these will not harden or dry until cured. So they're not going to dry up if they're just sitting on your mat, which is why it makes it for such easy cleanup. Okay, so I'm just going to set that aside for now. I am going to get a cleansing wipe out just in case I need to wipe anything and just sort of have that ready on deck. Okay, so what I'm going to do is take my dotting tool, sort of a medium size end, and I'm just going to take my In The Mood and I'm going to create some dots. And they, you know, as we know, cheetah print is very um, random. So, you know, you don't want to have it be necessarily a pattern. I kind of do a little bit on the tip here. Uh, it can just be really random. Okay. Just like that. So let's get a couple things going. And I'm just going to pop this into the lamp. I'm going to move it away just so it doesn't go near the polishes. So while I'm waiting for that to cure, I'm going to go ahead and do this. So I did have a question actually when you guys were, were um, applying polish. Let me just get a quick brush here. 
I'm waiting for my creativity set to come. But see, you were um, applying uh, polish and you had some polish on your skin. Um, so if this was, you know, I had just a freshly polished nail. Uh, you could actually take some alcohol here and also just gently wipe around so you're getting anything off before it goes into cure. That's just a little, little trick that I, I like to use. Um, you know, or you could take your cuticle pusher. Uh, if this was a cuticle pusher, you could kind of wrap it around your cuticle pusher and do the same thing. Just has a little bit better control than trying to handle that with your finger. Okay, so now I'm going, so that's, that's cured. So that's in the mood over lovey-dovey. So now I'm gonna take this um, mix of Jasmine Cherry and Nightly Affair and I'm just going to take this and I'm just going to just going to dabble around and just kind of just kind of do little I'd say little like little crescent moons around just to outline those Again, just kind of playing with it. Just being creative. It doesn't have to be perfect. This cheetah print is not perfect. It's a very random pattern. So you can kind of do like that. And then I sometimes just like to kind of dot just some random kind of dots around because, you know, it's kind of got that, that kind of look. So then I would cure that in again. Just do the cure for 45 seconds, so while I'm waiting, I can just clean off my tools. So again, this mat, it just, silicone mat, just everything just wipes right up. So really, once I'm doing a manicure, I'm really normally only using one of these because I've, you know, buffed, um, cleaned off all the polish off the nails, and then I normally use this as a cleanup. I noticed I had a little bit of polish on my bottle. Okay. So super easy. So that one's curing. You can see I have a little bit over here. And that's it. And then that's going to be our garbage. So we'll just wait for this to pop out of here. Okay. So there you go. There's two that I made. This one I used a little bit bigger um, spots. This one's a little bit smaller. And then we can compare it to the stamping kit. So, you know, Definitely uh, a way to, to get a cheetah look at home. And then here's another closer look at the one I made earlier with uh, a little bit of, mi of a mix. Anyways, have fun with it. I hope that was helpful. And um, I'm excited to see, you know, as people are getting their kits, I'm excited to see what colors you guys have, what have you done with your nails. And uh, be sure to post your manis and your petties. Good night, guys.